Minasan konnichiwa! This is Tina and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing some Hadarabha products that I have emptied. If that sounds like your thing, then please go ahead and channel toroku shatte kudasai. yo! Yes, yes, I know I could have easily put these products into another one of my regular empties videos, but I feel like they always go on for way too long and I talk about way too many products and I also know you guys love Hadarabha, so I thought I would make a dedicated video for these Hadarabha products that I've emptied. So, let's get into the review. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! So the first one is one that I'm pretty sure I have mentioned many, many times in the past in my videos, and it is the Hadarabha Gokujun Oil Cleansing. So this one is definitely a long-time favourite in Japan, and I feel like even in other countries, a lot of people are becoming fans of this oil cleanser. It is definitely one of my favourite Japanese oil cleansers, and a good one, especially if you are looking for one that is non-mineral oil-based. So the main oil component in this one is olive oil, and then it does also include some jojoba, and like any other Hadarabha Gokujun product, it also does include hyaluronic acid, and it is also colorant, fragrance, and alcohol alcohol free too. So they did change the packaging to it a while ago. This is an old one and I probably should really use it up because it's probably time that it's expiring but it's one that I just keep holding on to because I want to keep talking about it in my videos. And the new formula is essentially the exact same. I think it just includes one more preservative ingredient. It is a safe preservative ingredient, but that's the only difference and they just changed the packaging. Because many companies often will renew the formula when they renew the packaging, but the fact that Hadarabha didn't with this one probably means that it has been working and working well for such a long time for so many people. So this one is a lovely lightweight texture that removes makeup very easily, even waterproof makeup, and it also does emulsify with water really well. I know some oil cleansers can feel heavy for some people but this one's definitely lightweight and it washes off without any greasiness as well. So with this one you cannot use with your hands and face wet so you can't really use it in the shower. It's definitely recommended to use it with dry hands and face or else the full benefits or the full kind of cleansing power won't be achieved. Other than that I absolutely love it and I would totally repurchase it. It's usually very affordable too. The price is not on here but it is like less than 1000 yen so I highly highly recommend if you haven't tried this already as an oil plant cleanser, definitely, definitely give it a go. So the next product is the Hadarabo Gokujin Hyaluronic Acid Face Wash. I know this one's another very popular one and I actually used it up quite a while ago, probably like a few months ago, but I kept needing to talk about it. So here it is. Here it is today I present to you <laughs> this face wash. So this one is definitely just one of those basic, gentle, hydrating water-based cleansers. It includes humectants like glycerin and hyaluronic acid. The ingredients list is pretty simple and it it is a pH of 6, which is neutral. It's not a very low pH, but it's actually quite hard to find products that are low pH in Japan because it's not as on trend or it's not really like a marketing point as much. I think it's becoming more common, but this one has been around for a really long time and for that reason, being a pH neutral of 6 is pretty good. <laughs> so it foams up to a really light, fluffy foam. I wouldn't say it's like the most densest bounciest foam but it is still very nice and fluffy to wash your face with and it doesn't leave your skin feeling stripped of moisture and it actually also states that it can help to remove makeup as well so it actually says you don't have to double cleanse with this you can just use the one cleanser and get your makeup off i would probably only recommend to use it if you've got just light face makeup or sunscreen i am a double cleansing gal so i'm always going to recommend double cleansing but technically if you just wanted one cleanser to remove light makeup, you can use this one. It is also colorant, fragrance, alcohol, and paraben free. So another product from Huddle Level that um, focuses on leaving out possible irritants for those who do have sensitive skin. It is basic and it's nothing like spectacular, but for the price you can get it in Japan, it is a perfectly good cleanser that you can use in the morning or night. I also love the self foaming version. That one's really good as well. That one's super easy in the morning. You just pump it and the foam just comes out and it definitely doesn't leave your skin feeling dry so I would highly recommend either this foaming up 2 version or the self foaming version of 
the Gokujin Hyaluronic Acid Foam Cleanser. Now, the last product I have today is the Hadarabo Shirojin Premium Cream. I don't know why I haven't talked about this product in the past because I loved it when I was using it. So it is a lightweight kind of gel cream-like texture moisturizer that is from the Shirojin line, which helps to brighten and even out skin tone. It does include lots of great ingredients. The key ingredient is actually tranexamic acid, which is the same ingredient they use in their lotions. And it is a anti-inflammatory that helps to reduce the appearance of dark spots and hyperpigmentation. It also includes a vitamin C derivative, which let me read it. It is magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, which is a very stable and gentle derivative. It does also include vitamin E, squalane, and shea butter. So it's got lots of really nice moisturizing and protecting ingredients. And of course, it does include hyaluronic acid, like pretty much every single product in um, the Hubble range. So personally, I loved using this one during the day. It is surprisingly rich and moisturizing, but it's not heavy at all because the texture is super lightweight, absorbs really easily, and it doesn't leave any stickiness. So it's great for someone like me who has dehydrated, slightly dry skin. So you can still have a lightweight cream but it still moisturizes really well and as for reducing dark spots i honestly cannot say the effectiveness of that i will say it probably gave like an overall slightly brightened toned up kind of look to my skin but i wouldn't say it specifically helped to like lighten dark spots or freckles although in japan it retails for like 1500 yen for a 50 gram jar which is super cheap for a moisturizer and even if the effects might be kind of a long-term thing or you might have to use it for a really long time for it to actually help with hyperpigmentation i would say it's still a lovely moisturizer so for anyone who's looking for like a nice textured comfortable moisturizer that you can kind of use every day with possible um brightening effects i think it's a great one to go for and once again it is colorant fragrance mineral oil and ethanol alcohol free well, that's my empties review for these Hadalable products. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just, I keep coming for such an affordable drugstore brand. I feel like the quality of their products are so good. So that's why I keep coming back to it. I keep talking about it and I keep buying it. But if you had interest in any of these products, I hope my review kind of helped you out in deciding whether you actually wanted to purchase it. If you do, I really hope it works out for you too. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! That was weird. <laughs>